Hello Cancer. Welcome to another reading. This one will be all about the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking about you, feeling about you, and what are their intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so that means they will not resonate with every Cancer watching. This won't be everyone's story, so keep that in mind as you watch the reading. If you find that this doesn't resonate much for you, check out the Cancer playlist. It's linked in the description box. So let's jump right in for Cancer. Spirit Angels Guides. For Cancer, the person that Cancer is thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking, feeling about Cancer? The person that Cancer is thinking about or connecting with. At this time, what are they thinking or feeling when it comes to cancer? What are they thinking or feeling? Okay, so we have the Three of Cups, Four of Cups, Six of Swords. Well, when they think about you, they're thinking about some sort of departure or move here with the Six of Swords. And I'm wondering if this is them picturing you walking away, or maybe they're walking away or walked away in the past. We'll clarify that. Four of Cups is typically a card about like disinterest. Someone's not interested in the cup they're being offered or just can't see it because they're so focused on other things. I feel this person might think you're not interested in them. Not sure what this Three of Cups is about. It's not reunion. That's usually what I get with this card, but not not in this reading. This is something else. So let's clarify and get some insight here. Spirit, why is the Three of Cups here? For Cancer. Why is the Three of Cups here? Oh, okay. The Fool. The Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups. There's something here about like multiple things, like three people, three things, three options, multiple options, Seven of Cups. But this is more about a conversation. I feel like your person thinks they have to compete or like get through other people to get to you that's i'm picturing like them trying to find you in a crowd or like <clears throat> having to push past people to walk to you now what's interesting here is i feel this is with the intent of starting something with you with the fool maybe this is risky on their part to talk to you with the ace of swords right But I'm also getting that like when they do come forward, let's say that they take the risk to communicate, I feel like you're going to be like, huh? Not sure what to do with this information, not sure what to do about this. I wasn't expecting this kind of energy because this person, that's what they're picturing. They're picturing that when they come forward and they finally make their way to you, you're not going to be interested, I think, is what they're thinking here with the Four of Cups. I don't think this is how they feel towards you. Specifically, it's almost like how they picture you. Tell me about the Four of Cups, Spirit. Why is the Four of Cups here? The Sun. Why is the Four of Cups here? For the Cancer. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it's almost like um, the Two of Cups, the Pentacles is reminding me of the Seven of Cups. What to do with this? Uncertainty. Can I get one more, please, for this Four of Cups? Six of Wands and then the Empress at the bottom of the deck. So this is interesting because I feel like your person, Cancer, right now, they're thinking this could work. 
this might work with cancer <clears throat> The Ace of Swords and the Sun, this, these two energies could also be about some sort of clarity, you know? Because I feel like someone needs more information. That's the energy I'm picking up with the Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Like someone's not really sure what to do with what they're being presented, what they're being told. And it's probably because they're trying to figure something out. I think you're this empress. I think that you are at a whole different level in this person's eyes. Once again, with the six of wands, it's like there's a crowd of people around. So maybe, I don't know. I just, I just feel like your person needs to physically, you know, I'm picturing them literally having to like push around other others to get to you. And I don't know why that is. I don't know if this is like a third party situation. I don't know if this is a situation where family is involved. Or if you just have a lot of suitors. But for some reason it's like a challenge. Tell me about the two of pentacles. Tell me about the two of pentacles. Ah five of pentacles yeah it's like it's like there's there's something a bit off here because the five of pentacles is about loss it's about struggle it's about being like abandoned left behind needing something you're, you're you've lost some sort of stability and you're seeking for help i feel like you cancer when it comes to this person you worry about losing something Maybe you worry about the fact that you would be hurt again or you would be abandoned or it would just be very difficult to be with this person, to, to, to reunite with this person or to even give this person a chance. I don't feel you and this person are together, but we'll see because I want to look at that Six of Swords. But before I do that, tell me about this Ace of Swords. What's this message about? Why is the Ace of Swords here? The Three of Wands, waiting for a response. So again, it's almost like this person might be thinking they're, they'll be left on red. Or they'll have to wait for you, you know? Or maybe they're waiting before they talk to you because it is risky. We'll know a little bit more when I dig into their energy in a second and their intentions. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Oh, the Chariot, Cancer, Energy, there you are, the King of Wands. This is some sort of moving, movement, action. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Probably with another, uh, with a fire sign. The Lovers and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, Gemini energy with the lovers, but this is the one that I'm really focusing on because this is kind of what I feel your person has to do. Fight back. Fight against others. You see the wands in front of them? It's like they have to fight to get to you. That's the energy I'm getting here. And there's the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Fear, Queen of Cups, there's the Five of Swords. So there's some sort of conflict that your person is thinking about when it comes to being with you. Despite the fact that they really want this. You know, this King of Wands, I feel they're very motivated. They desire this. Um, but I feel also that it, it's like they have to fight their way out of something or fight to, to go to you. What is this person's overall energy? This person that Cancer is, has, or will be dealing with spirit. What is their overall energy? What is their overall energy when it comes to cancer? Looking inward, reflection, solitude, planning, wedding bells, and separ the separation. Okay, so I feel like this person, some of you are dealing with someone who's already in a commitment and needs to separate from another person. Others of you, there was a separation between you. 
regardless of what boat you're in, your person is kind of planning something with looking inward. I'm getting planning from that card more than anything. It's like they're planning their approach or planning their departure. What else do we need to know about this person's energy? What else do we need to know about this person's energy? Courthouse. Yeah, this is about a decision. Official decision. Contracts. Paperwork. Some of you, this is like a divorce situation. Expectation. That's that waiting energy. And great fortune is like having things work out. So I feel like this is somebody who they're making some sort of official decision here and hoping for the best. Um, for some reason, this is very risky. And I get the feeling that your person... Um, I don't know. It's almost like courage is needed here. This is for someone who would need to fight against something. Seven of Wands is here. King of Wands. King of Wands would definitely be a fighter. King of Wands would definitely um, fight back. Now, the Six of Wands is here. So it's like this person wants success. You know, the person who's, whose energy I'm tapping into. But I feel like there's more people involved. There's a big obstacle here. The obstacle will be different for all of you, but that's what I see. Tell me more about this person's energy towards cancer. About their, this person's energy. And they clearly are hoping for a new beginning here with the Fool. And the Six of Swords and the Chariot are telling me like you're walking away from something to have something else, basically. I feel guilty and I regret what happened. So this person's having regrets. I miss you at the bottom of the deck. So I, I do feel like this person might have left this connection at some time or did something that they regret when it comes to you, Cancer. What else? What else we need to know about this person? What else we need to know? I couldn't let you get close to me. Yeah, so I feel like whatever happened, it's like they, they might have pushed you away or did something specifically to like not have this connection be successful with you, if that makes sense. I feel like your history is complicated with this person because now they have to fight to get to you. Now there's an obstacle in the way. What are this person's intentions? The star, Aquarius energy. What are this person's intentions towards Cancer spirit? What are their intentions towards Cancer? The eight of swords and the star. Okay, so this is interesting because I feel like this is someone who has a lot of hopes, is having faith in something working out, but is also at the same time stuck with this eight of swords. This is someone that's overthinking, paralyzed by fear, not really seeing a way out of their situation, the Eight of Swords, because they're blindfolded. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Oh my God, that's way too many, but we'll go for it. Queen of Cups. Two of Cups. Page of Pentacles. And the five of swords so they're scared of this conflict that has already like appeared in this spread this five of swords was at the bottom of the deck so was the eight of swords and the queen of cups i think you're this queen of cups i think you are someone that they have a very strong connection with there's a two of cups here so this could even be like a soulmate someone they have a lot of feelings for i mean that's pretty clear and you know they do want to make an offer with the page of pentacles so I don't think that this is somebody that's afraid of you necessarily, but more like maybe afraid of failure or afraid of the conflict ahead. Tell me about the star. Tell me about the star. The ace of wands. Yeah, they're hoping for a new beginning. Having faith or hoping to heal something, to have a new start. This is like the fool. <clears throat> Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck and the Two of Wands after that. So this is that decision that came out here with Courthouse. You know, it's like a final decision. 
there's the ace of pentacles after that so you know this is all kind of this is it's just the confirmation of all that we've seen so far i feel like you know this could go many different ways based on the cards that i've already seen <clears throat> i feel like some of you are probably dealing with a person who already has another situation and a divorce is necessary because i'm picturing like a gavel so you know with wedding bells here the end of another situation um others of you i feel like this person there's an obstacle that keeps them from you right now they have to get through certain people to get to you for whatever reason um and i think they might be waiting for things to work out here waiting for the right time to act waiting for the right time to walk away because i feel like this person's on a journey here with the six of swords and the chariot it's like they literally have to make a move whether that's leaving somewhere or heading somewhere it's it's the energy is not very clear there um but i feel like this is something that they're they need to fight for they need to like fight to make this move to make this journey so I'm going to extend this to look at what you can expect next for this connection and what are your person's next specific actions? Because I feel that right now in their intentions, they, they're hopeful, you know, and they are hoping to maybe have some sort of renewal for a new beginning here, but they're also very scared. So what are their next actions going to be? I feel it's a, it's a talking to you because the Ace of Swords is here maybe reaching out but we'll see uh in the extended if, if that comes up so feel free to join us there if you like some additional insight it's linked in the description box otherwise i'll leave it here cancer thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you and i will see you all in another video very soon take care